What happened to the Young's Pub, the ball in Church Road, Mitchum? Wasn't it supposed to be protected? Well, no, not actually. It was locally listed. But as we will see, just being listed doesn't mean it's protected. The Merton Historical Society website has a number of photographs. Amongst them, the Eric Montague collection, slides and photographs of Mitchum and its environs, mostly taken in the 1960s and 1970s. And most recently, the Bill Rudd collection that's been added, mostly modern, but some of Mitchum. Let's have a look at one of the photographs that Eric Montague took in 1966. The ball is on the right hand side here. There's a grocery shop there. In fact, there's quite a few shops down this part of Church Road. All of them have closed. I don't remember the pub looking like this, but 1966 I was um, a tad too young to go into it. Here's another photograph, this one from 1989. That's how I remember the Young's Pub, the ball. What is of interest, the tile work at the front. Merton Memories have a photograph. Let's have a look at this one. Colour photograph looking straight out to the front. We should be able to zoom in on this. View larger image. Right then. So there is a false window in the middle at the top with the name of the brewery and the name of the pub. Then there is this band above the entrance with the ball written on it. Young's the ball. And here's the tiles. Let's see if we can zoom in, see a bit more detail. Yes, this is what was listed. These tiles. And why not? Would it be nice to have saved the stained glass windows as well? But never mind. Yes. And these these columns, I believe in architectural terms, are called pilasters. They're not actually columns, they are protrusions that make them look like they're columns. Yes. Going a bit closer? We can, but it's a bit blurry, so we won't bother. So, what happened? Let's look at a current photograph of the ball. So, the ball has been redeveloped into flats. The outlines of the windows are still there, which is good. This has now become a window, whereas before it was a false window. And where have the tiles gone? Well, in this planning application from 2015, they were supposed to be put back on either side of the main entrance. The ball was supposed to be put there. And the windows made to look like the originals in some way and the pilasters the fluted flat columns should be there as well but that's not the case so I wrote and complained to the planning enforcement and they replied gave me a case number 19 as in 2019 this is to confirm that your concerns in respect of the above have now been registered Assigned to a planning enforcement officer for investigation. The council's planning enforcement team is currently inundated with requests for investigation, so please remain patient. Well, I was. I did remain patient. And every so often, I would contact the fellow involved, the planning enforcement officer. And what happened? Nothing. That planning officer has since left the council. What it should have been, instead of this bland, blank, white box, what it should have been was this. Which, even though that door was false, and these may well have been painted on, including these pilasters, these may well have been false, it would have looked a lot better than it does now. So there you go. Being locally listed doesn't mean it was protected. 
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video in a strange way. Please subscribe if you want to be notified of new videos. And if you like this video, press the like button. Bye.